I don't see any system in the near future, say the next 20 years, that can escape its hardware. You can't escape your hardware. In the distant future, I'm sure they're going to be wiring data centers with explosives just in case. I would. Right, let's start right there. Do you think that's a yes. good idea? We only control one thing. So there is really? some... And right. So hold on, hold on. So there is some instance where where things would go so badly that we have to blow it. I'm all. saying that you have to That's prepare what you're for. I sailed for years. Okay, you die on the open ocean if you don't prepare. There's going to be a million steps that we have to stop the thing that's bad before we get to the thing that's bad because we're nowhere near creating. How do you know? How do you? That's know? how software is. How do you know? That's that? how software is built. These things are powered by software. They're just software. And we're going to build to this edge, right? That we're going to push it, push it, push capabilities as far as we can. Yeah, that's what humans we'll do. get to the edge. We'll see the edge, right? We'll, we'll see the we'll edge. See the and all the countries and all the companies will right at the right, at the right yeah. moment, all the companies right at the right moment will be like, oh my God, we've gone too far. Everyone stop. And all the companies and all the countries are going to agree on that hour of that day. It's not, not going to just day. happen like that is how we're safe. It's everything is going to die. And today we didn't know about it. It's going to be how because that's know? how software works. When you're building complex systems, you have a lot of visibility into the but future. So you, 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 They're only dangerous in bad actor hands. They're not dangerous on their own. How would you know? Red, red TV. The whole process. That's what I'm talking about the software development process. Uh, so a, a human red team, a human red team can outperform an AI right, right yeah. after. And when they realize that an AI that is that a, I mean, there's an AI that is that is uh, you know that gets into deception. I understand. That. You believe a human team red team deceived a bunch of people, but it can't deceive everybody. I don't think anybody is suggesting that all of it would stop. I think the idea is that the frontier work would stop. But that's dangerous okay. work. There'll be a time where we're going to have to stop frontier work until we catch up and better understand the system. Okay. So okay. 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 We're okay. There yet. So this is important. So we agree. We agree though. Right, you and I agree that there's a theoretical point in the future when we will, for safety reasons, have to stop frontier oh, absolutely. Stuff. And I think we will have visibility ahead to see that coming. It's see, see it coming. It's not. We're not just gonna wake up one day and it's already here. <laughs> yeah, but you're 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 making it seem like they understand the capability of the product at release. They do. Because they don't, don't release they it, do. they don't release it immediately when they're done. They release it after they've done the testing and everything. It, but but yeah, but you're making it seem like human red teaming is a 100 percent foolproof no. approach to diagnosing any. No, but with the technology that we okay. have right now, red teaming works. Okay, but at some point, you're going to have a digital printer that can print materials at an atom level and create anything solid. Okay. Yep. We not have totally agree. We're going to have to reevaluate what we think is dangerous and what the timelines are, et cetera. Because at that point, it really, really does. Don't you think we should do that before that happens? We are already. You're saying that the thousands of people, all the academics and all the corporate leaders who signed this thing that say it is an existential threat, you are saying that you know better and they're all wrong. Yeah, but you're also now you're using your yeah. bias fallacy because you're not counting all the people who didn't sign it. Who, Jan LeCun's mom? <laughs>